Hello, guys. This is going to be a very brief, hopefully useful <laughs> walkthrough of the palms. Now, the palms is off strip, and you know that, right? And in front of palms is uh, the Gold Coast. That's, a, that's good news because Gold Coast has free shuttles to the strip. You shouldn't really be using them, but if you actually play a Gold Coast or have a player's card, I'm sure they don't mind. They're actually very, very generous. Um, very user friendly, so to speak. And just further down is Rio, and they too have shuttles, free shuttles to the strip. Uh, but with them, it's to their own properties and usually at the back of their properties. So you're gonna have to have that extra walk to come back onto the strip. Now, with regards to the, to the shuttles that Gold Coast provides, on the other hand, uh, they have stopped in so, on some, in so many areas of the strip. I can't keep up anymore. <laughs> but now I'm joking. Now they're stopping at Caesar's Palace, which isn't bad, right? Because you have access to Caesar's Palace and, of course, the forum shops and Fashion Show Mall, Mirage, Venetian, Win, and with the you know, and with interesting new things coming up strip area you know but also it's quite easy once you access Caesars Palace you are practically mid strip everybody's happy with that you know they they had once uh, they they stopped the shuttles once stopped at Tropicana and I think people thought it was too south anyway that's palms I'm gonna go in now you see it's nothing outstanding outside and they do have um, a lot of things that you can enjoy in the resort so you don't have to go out all the time but I want you to understand what the location is like if it's absolutely safe it's you can even walk to the strip let me explain if you actually walk along that road Flamingo Road I believe West Flamingo Road um, and you keep going well, it's not the best walk but today for example it's so windy look at how windy it is and cool then uh, you, it's an okay walk to Midstrip and you go basically right, you're right in Bellagio on the side or on the side of Caesar's Palace, right in the middle, facing Flamingo. So, not bad. I think it's one of the best locations for an off-strip hotel and casino. And uh, so, you know, per personally, when the strip is too expensive or I just cannot be bothered to stay South Strip because South Strip makes me feel so detached from everything then uh, I stay here in one of these three sisters <laughs> Rio which has disappointed me I'm gonna give it another try soon but my, my wounds are still fresh um, Gold Coast one of my favorites like being a great little place modest great little place wonderful service it's like a family Lovely place. and of course palms you know which is obviously a step up I think it's the better of the three with regards to luxury and so forth and amenities but let's go in and, and let's show you what I'm talking about okay so we got through <laughs> we went through the entrance this is the entrance this is the, casi the, the casino area of course and right in front is the buffet so it's really cool if you just come here for the buffet because say you're staying in one of these other resorts and you want something affordable and yet decent or good um, then it's really close and, and, and easy to find I like those resorts where things are easy to find I don't know maybe I've become more impatient and it's quite everything is very well marked let's go I'm gonna now walk on towards the right and I want to show you a few things one of them being um, the theater area very cool I like that I don't even know if you can actually read cinemas that's where I'm actually going I want to show you where those where it is because if you come as a family or if you come for a, a bit of time and going to the cinema here might be a really good option I really there's a lovely bar here in sports area very nice slick and modern it's nice you know palms is nice slick and modern not ultra modern but it's good a good happy medium so I was saying I love coming from 
areas where the cinemas are pitiful. <laughs> when I'm here, I always try and watch something, go and see a nice movie. HD, their HD is very good. Red Rock is another excellent choice. And here, of course, you've got your, your food court. So if you didn't want to eat at the it just blows my mind, right? You know what blows my mind? When they have an affordable buffet, which is good, not outstanding, but good, and it's affordable, and yet they still have food courts. I love it. You don't have these choices in some of those other buffets, or resorts, rather. Um, some. So, you know, it's also quite popular with the locals. You gotta bear that in mind. Locals come here and, you know, it's just going to any food court. Um, let's go and find out what they're showing. Here I actually saw The Hobbit, and then I saw it also at Red Rock, that was many months ago. Um, loved it. Then I went back home and the cinema was so bad that I vowed my, myself to, ever, to always come here. <laughs> okay, let's see. Nothing special today for me. <laughs> anyway, I don't have time. Even if I wanted, if I had God knows what, I couldn't go. This is really heavy reviewing and I, I barely have time to uh, sit down. Nonetheless, as I was saying, I really like a resort that has these facilities as well. Now, some of them are far too small, and I'm talking about off-street, off-strip resorts to have all of this, but Palms is large enough. And I really like it. It just gives you something extra, especially if you stay here for a few days and you want a little bit of peace and quiet, something a little different from the strip. But if you come here just for a week, you won't need to come here unless you want to um, try one of their good theaters. And as I said before, Red Rock equally offers very good theaters, although it's a lot more difficult to get to and Palms is much, much more convenient to get to from the Strip. So bear that in mind, guys, there are options, but you don't have to stay on the Strip. But of course, if you've paid top prices to be on the Strip, by all means, stay there but if you are a family and all of a sudden there's a good movie showing and you want to see it in good HD high definition high frame rate which is quite important <laughs> um, then this is a really good option really good option Palms is also very popular because they have a really nice pool area they have nightclubs that are relatively popular so it kind of caters to pretty much everybody. Uh, they have a, quite a large senior um, clientele um, that is mostly local, I would say. Conference center. Concert theater. They've got everything, they really have. Of course, you gotta find out if what's on what's what's happening at the time you're coming is something that you're interested in because that's always a good thing to do as one of the parameters with which within which to choose which resort to stay at so now i'm going to show you the entrance to the buffet which i have already reviewed so i you can read top-buffet.com for the review or you can just go and see the video small but good buffet uh, you know with some of those bigger buffets declining so badly and charging the same or more then you know i have to hand it to them at least they have not they have decided not to become yet another declining buffet the entrance to the bistro buffet and often there's a lineup especially towards the end of the shift they have breaks you cannot do rollovers here unfortunately so come give yourself at least an hour because sometimes sometimes the lines are the lineup the lineups are long and even if they're not long it takes them a long time to seat people because they're not a lot of people just sit down for a long time you know it's understandable and therefore the tables are not available fast enough this is the mint What do you think guys is it something that you would like 
I actually quite like palms. I've always liked palms. It used to bother me that they don't have really any free shuttles anywhere. Uh, anyway, in, in a way that it's frequent and reliable. It, things change all the time, so it's always good to double check their website or I just give them a call. Or give, give a call and speak to front desk. They usually know more than anybody, anybody else. Um, it's quiet usually. Of course, this is midweek. It's lunchtime. It's going to be quiet. If you like a resort that's not too crowded, not too crazy, um, then this is a good option. Again, you have to understand that you will not be mid-strip or on the strip, but with those um, shuttles that I highlighted to you earlier, then which obviously don't belong to Palms, but at least you have the option of moving around, which is very handy. And with the, the Gold Coast shuttles now taking you to, to Caesars, and then you've got the Rio shuttles, a little bit of a walk, but still, taking you to other areas, and you're, you're set. You're set. So that's it. If you, if you want to go and use a, a cab, of course. Okay. I'm now walking up the elevators. And this is not a mystery tour, but rather I'm going to show you the gym that belongs to Palms. <laughs> Here you go. I'm gonna ask the opening hours. Kind of reminds me of uh, the cardio center at uh, MGM. Oh yes, and that allows me to show you the pool as well. In fact, that's what I'll do first. This is not Hooters, this is Palms, okay? They just have a Hooters section. <laughs> and that's your pool. Very windy today and not sunny, so you know, you have the diehards there. In fact, I would be there if it wasn't for the fact that I have to review, which I do very happily. But I would actually take that opportunity and go in for a swim, so you don't have too many people around, you know? It's a, it's a strange, from this angle, you don't really see much. If you are on the other side, actually, you have a better view of the strip, so it's kind of nice. It's a nice enough pool with nice beds, you know. And a further, can you see the one on the higher level? Okay, at least the sun tanning sections. Okay, let's continue with the... So it's a lovely airy gym with good quality equipment. Good quality equipment. Actually, I like working out in gyms like these. They're quiet, they're airy. They overlook the pool, but it's quiet and it's not too hot and they're very well air-conditioned. And uh, you got your benches. Well, you can't find everywhere. <laughs> you can't find benches everywhere. And uh, okay, so it's very good, isn't it? And if you didn't want to do the stairs, there are obviously elevators and the spa. But I'm not going to show you the men's spa. I can't go in. <laughs> so again, you know, those of you that think, oh my God, this is so quiet. It's just quiet because it's what, two o'clock, roughly 1.30. I don't have my watch with me right now. 1.30 in the afternoon, it's Thursday. It doesn't get any quieter than that, okay? And then, of course, here you've got the entrance to the various towers, like the Fantasy Tower. And so forth. As I say, I like it. The ceilings are high enough, you can still smell smoke, weirdly. But the ceilings are high enough to give you a sense of airiness and... Uh, I think that if you're staying for, a, say, a whole week in Vegas, you may want to try different um, resorts. Um, I wouldn't necessarily stay at Palms for a whole week. Um, it's really comfortable to be in one resort only. You don't have to change and any check-ins, check-outs. You just enjoy Vegas. But because of the location, I can understand it could be frustrating to be having to take shuttles every day or taxis and so forth. 
but if you would prefer the quietness and then if you have say if you rent a car then this could be a really good option depending on the kind of prices that you find uh, sometimes they have good deals other times not so much I always find that Treasure Island is more affordable than Palms most times not all the times and so obviously you have to weigh whether you know weigh up various options but I do like off strip sometimes because as I said it's it's, it's, it's more relaxing. You know, you have all the perks of Vegas without having to fight your way through. And that might be more appealing to people who are not 22. <laughs> okay? But I do have a lot of viewers who are very young. So those of you, you know, you gotta work out whether this is for you. You may prefer something on the strip, crazy, you know. Um, but as I say, Palms, have got, Palms, you have a nightclub here. There are some young people coming here because of that. Sometimes they have celebrities. So it depends on the time of the year and so many other things. But at least now you have an idea of what to expect, okay? So for any other details, uh, read us on top-buffet.com. We are doing updating everything on the website as well as continuing to post new videos so we have a batch now of a lot of new videos and a batch in say a month and a half time we're trying to stagger it a little bit but we are actually reviewing for quite a long stretch of time and uh, and you know with time we cannot do 100 pages a day because i don't want to work like i want to actually personalize what i write it's important to me quality is important and uh, a sense of uh, being user friendly too um, so I hope you find this all useful and uh, enjoy your stay in Vegas you know uh, create a good schedule give yourself some time don't hurry up too much don't go from A to B to Z because you won't even know what you're doing give yourself a little time to relax and of course give yourself a lot of time to play and if you want to stay up all night, perhaps you shouldn't check out the next day. <laughs> okay, guys, see you on top-buffet.com.